guys have this uh, completely vanilla um, code sandbox here. And I figured, let's go ahead and let's do some like blow you away kind of stuff. And this is actually stuff I do in chapter two of the book. And I think it's pretty entertaining and interesting. So we're going to write some JavaScript and we're going to take an already trained model and we're going to have some fun with it to check that out. So uh, if I bring this over here and I say, OK, so we want to bring in, what do we want to bring? We want to bring in TensorFlow, uh, or oh, it's at TensorFlow. Look how uncool I am. Okay. So we have at TensorFlow slash TFJS. There it is. So if you're not familiar with Code Sandbox, I'm just bringing on, uh, this is like Yarn or NPM install. And then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to bring in one of the models. Uh, models like um, you saw in the tic-tac-toe example, we had data that was collected, and it said training, and it created a function or an algorithm uh, to figure this stuff out. And I like to say function, especially for web developers. Um, all, all my math friends will be very upset that I'm calling a model <laughs> a function, but hey, it's not for you right now, okay? It's very, it totally makes sense, data in, data out. So I'm going to bring in a library called MobileNet. So we're going to say at TensorFlow um, models. And then I'm going to bring in uh, MobileNet. And I'm hoping that this says MobileNet. I'll bring that in here. OK. So we've got uh, two libraries being brought in, classic stuff. So I'm going to import them. I import star as uh, TF from uh, at yeah, TensorFlow.js. Perfect. Thank you for knowing what I was going to do. Import star <laughs> as mobile net from and then uh, at TensorFlow mobile net. OK. So this is TensorFlow, the library. And this is a model that's come in here um, that we have set up now. So now we can go ahead and we can take um, an image. And I'm just going to go ahead and grab an image. Uh, I'm going to grab uh, right here. I have it set up. So I'm going to do this in JavaScript. Um, let image equal a new image object. And then I'm going to say image equals cross origin, because I am going to be grabbing this off of uh, imager. OK, I think I spelled that right. I can never spell an anonymous mouse. <laughs> and then I have, just to be safe here, I've got this URL I'm going to paste in. So I'm setting the source URL for that here. Um, and then uh, I think we should see this, right? So uh, down here, I'm going to get rid of all this fun stuff that's printed out here that's the default for that. And let's kind of take a look at this for a moment here. So I'm going to say h1. And then I'm going to say tfgs. And we're going to take a look at our version here. And let's see. I could do this uh, this up here in this H1, can I? Using no frameworks here. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. I wanted to keep it vanilla for you. Uh, no, this I can go with it. anything. Yeah. Yeah. It would be nice to throw in some fun stuff. But uh, so this is TensorFlow. That's the object we have there. Uh, version and TFJS. And so now we are looking at, let's see here. Ah, so you can see that's correct. And if we, we take a look over here, right? Uh, Let's see. Yeah, that is the version that we brought in, uh, 3.8.0. So yeah, we're, we're, we're loaded up. It was easy. Now, if you wanted to go ahead and do a, um, a CDN to go ahead and grab this, you could do that as well. Uh, there's no nothing stopping you from kind of doing this all the fancy ways that you like to do JavaScript. And then let's let's see this image real quick. I want to make sure we can watch it. So image source, I'm put here. And then um, that's too big. This is an unsplash image. <laughs> so yeah, we, we have uh, freedom to use it. <laughs> All right. Uh, so uh, here I have a truck, right? And this is just a little picture of a truck. Now, I want to see if the computer can tell if this is an image of a truck, right? So one of the things I think that's really cool about this, and we talked about, uh, there's an XKCDN uh, or XK. Um, XKCD, yeah. I just threw in other, <laughs> other letters because I'm using CDNs, right? Uh, <laughs> where we're talking about like how hard it is to tell like what's inside of an image, and you're going to need five years, and you'll need like a research team. And that was like really true not long ago. 
But now I have the ability to kind of check out all kinds of cool stuff. So um, what I can do now is I can take this awesome little mobile net here and I'm gonna load this model up and I want you to kind of like understand what's happening here. So I'm gonna say mobile net dot load. And then uh, I get uh, back on that, I get a promise. And what this is doing is it's pulling down uh, the mobile net uh, model for me and then wrapping it up, get everything set. So I'm gonna just, uh, I'm gonna do a then here because um, I'm not inside an async function, so I'm not gonna get too too wild in there. But uh, now I just wanna see if that image has a, um, has a truck in it. So I'm gonna say model.classify the image. Now in AI, there's all kinds of different things you can do. You can do object detection. You can generate new things. You could do all kinds of cool stuff. Today, the stuff you can do is crazy. Generative uh, models are all the fad right now, but it wasn't that long ago, just being able to see what's in an image was really hard. So that's an image classification problem. So I'm gonna tell it to go ahead and classify this JavaScript image right here. Now we could also do it uh, do give it the one on the page. We could also give it a video. We can give it all kinds of different things. Uh, and then once it's done classifying it, I'm going to say, give me your predictions. And I would like to, I love how it's always updating every time, every time I stop <laughs> typing for a second, it's like wrong. <laughs> You're, <laughs> you didn't type it right. All right. Console dot log. So uh, while yeah. no keep 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 typing away. So one of the things that's worth highlighting here is you know um, what what Gannett highlighted before is the fact that um, this is not going th th this is going to be fuzzy. So it's going to yeah. look at this and it's going to go. I think it's a truck, but it might also be a banana because it's yellow, or it might right. also be a van, or it might also be you know something else. So it's it's going to look at it and it's going to give it its best guess, but it also knows that it's not going to be 100%. So it will give you a set of different guesses uh, to go along with that. That is absolutely correct. And this is a little weird for people, right? Um, like uh, it, you could take the same image and then just uh, in some ways uh, adjust it a little bit or change the background or things like that. And then it actually chooses different things to pick up and, and sort of identify. So uh, it's a little bit weird it, that, you know, as a matter of fact, there's a whole field of um, AI security in, in the sense that what pixels can I change that a human wouldn't even notice that would send the AI flying, you know, and just like, what is this? This is a toaster, you know? <laughs> and uh, there's some really cool stuff out there for that too. Uh, I would probably burn a, like two or three <laughs> hours on stuff like that um but but yeah let's let's uh let's see if we're successful and then we will kind of go over this code just in a little bit more detail for a second here so we have our predictions you can see that's when i had just that and then I had more so it just kind of piles up on here so i'm gonna take a look at the predictions i've got three predictions here the first prediction yeah there and we have a truck so it can identify specifically that it does see the, the, the highest class, the most likely prediction that this image is a picture of, that the person taking this photo wasn't trying to take a picture of the bridge, wasn't trying to take a picture of the clouds, wasn't trying to take a picture of the tree. This photo was meant to be a picture of a truck. And that's what the AI comes back to. Trailer truck, tractor trailer, trucking rig, rig, uh, articulated lorry. Ooh, I, I, <laughs> I, I like the fact that it's got a little little UK English in there. Yes, indeed. Uh, and then it's it's giving me this probability here. Now the probability this means this is the one it's most sure of, and it is saying I am sixty four percent sure that I am looking at a truck in this photo. So you also get this weird thing here where you can. Um, you can almost set like a threshold of how sure something should be before it fires. So let's say I'm I'm doing a uh, <laughs> I'm doing a website where people sell their trucks, right? And you're going to upload your truck photo, and um, it says like, okay, I'm pretty sure that you know this is a truck, but it's only um, 
you know, 40% sure that that's a truck. And that was the most likely prediction there. You could probably, uh, you have the ability on a client side, say like, hey, a little bit denied here. Uh, we need a we need another photo or, or are you sure or something like that. So there's a, uh, well, of course, with the truck website, that's a little bit silly. <laughs> However, but in there are situations that um, identification has to be more certain before it picks things. Uh, take, for instance, pneumonia detection or cancer detection. Um, you kind of want to be very sure before you tell a person that they have cancer or something like that. So uh, the nature of AI is that you not only get its prediction, but you also get a certain level of probability that comes along with them.